I think the, the chapter that I wrote is, is about aviation public relations. And, and the reason we chose that chapter is because that's the business I've been involved in uh, for most of my life uh, as a commercial pilot and also as a communicator. And, and we focused on aviation public relations because it's a, it's a very special market and it, it requires somebody that has a, a particular talent and uh, someone that's a good writer, someone that can really express the passion of the industry because people in this industry are extremely passionate. We're not marketing bars of soap or tires or anything like that. We're talking about an industry that's moving at 600 miles an hour. I think one of the reasons that I, I have always found aviation to be so interesting, uh, not just as a communicator but as a pilot, is that it is very dynamic, literally. Uh, airplanes move at, at, at rocket speeds. They carry people to destinations everywhere on the globe to places that people uh, have no other forms of transportation for. So again, it's a, it's a product and a service that, that's very unique. Um, but with that comes a, uh, uh, a responsibility, uh, especially when there's a crisis. And let's face it, aviation's had quite a few crises. Uh, and uh, I'm writing a, a book right now about the Air France 447 crash that went down in the South Atlantic. So when, when we have a crisis, it's not uh, a bad product that someone turns back into the grocery store or uh, you know, pulls off to the side of the road when a tire blew. These are very spectacular uh, incidents and they require someone who has a, a cool head and is able to, to sort of look uh, 10 minutes or sometimes a day down the road at, at, at where a, a, a crisis could or might be headed and, and to develop the strategies that they need to to communicate um, what the customer or their employer needs in order to stay in business. I also write a blog on, on marketing topics and I'm constantly uh, faced with, with companies that have done the dumbest thing possible to alienate customers and then they wonder why. Uh, so I think that when any student is able to effectively use social media uh, to, to engage with a customer, uh, to engage with the media, to, to get that conversation going so that people can better get to know them uh, as, a, as people as opposed to an entity, it, it helps the overall uh, uh, brand succeed. Uh, I also believe very, uh, very emphatically that the, the ground zero for a, a, a PR person is the ability to write. Because if they can't write, uh, whether it's a, 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 a tweet or a blog post or a script or a, a, a news item, uh, they're going to be lost. And so with that basic uh, concept, though, being able to write really decently, they can really succeed in this business. I think that someone that's going to be an effective PR person in the aviation industry, um, as I probably mentioned, they need to be a good writer. They need, to, uh, they need to be able to communicate whatever's going on in their head. But, and that's the, you know, backing up a step, they've got to be a little creative about, about looking at the audience that they have, uh, whether it's um, uh, the media or customers or legislators, who knows who it might be, and then to make sure that they have um, focused the, the response in terms that that particular audience can understand. And that's not always something that PR people have been taught. They've often been taught, put it in a press release, ship it out, and good luck. And, and it, has, it has gone much more than that. So an effective communicator needs to be a good writer. Uh, again, I think they need to be creative, and in this industry, they need to be uh, respectful of the fact that when a product or a service in this industry has a problem, it, also, it often costs people their lives. So people that are very short-tempered um, or, or are not good people, people, uh, people that are very left-brained, probably not cut out to be good PR people. Um, but I think if people are looking for a challenge and looking for an industry um, that, that, especially in the economy we've seen the last few years, perhaps change on a, on a daily, monthly basis, uh, this, this can be it. Uh, and, and I think this industry is now hungry for young communicators that can look at the ways we deliver the messages that we produce in new ways that can help get the job done.